Okay, family. So, I was kind of debating on whether or not I wanted to come and make this video because um, I know it can be a rather uh, touchy subject, but I also know that a lot of people need to hear about um, things like this, especially in 2015. I know that a lot of people need to hear about these things because it's happening more now than ever. Um, so, I'm not going to mention any names in this video, although I do follow this person on my personal Facebook page, um, as well as here on YouTube. The person just recently created a YouTube account because they constantly get, um, they have like four or five different Facebook pages because people um, continuously report um, their statuses, their videos, um, their pictures, everything, because they are exposing down low men um i'm talking about men who you would never think is on the down low okay um like i said i'm not gonna um say this person's name but um what i will say is the type of people that this person is exposing this person is exposing correctional officers police officers um people just random people who work at walmart people who just dope dealers you know thuggish quote unquote thuggish type of men um this person is outing everybody now she said um this is a transgender woman that i'm referring to um she said that she only outs the men who um basically either lie to her lie on her or if they piss her off like say for instance um i guess if you do some crazy ass shit uh, like say she calls your phone and you like, don't call my fucking phone. You know, I'm just, I'm just throwing something out there. You do something to piss a person off. That's when she exposes you and she creates videos, um, shows evidence, all types of stuff, stuff that's really hard to, uh, you know, um, counter. Basically it's hard for you to come back and say, well, I didn't fuck with you and all this type of stuff because she has literally showed driver's licenses that people have left in her car in her house she even had one dude's social security card yes she had a dude's social security card she had another dude look now this is more crazy as shit she had one nigga draws now you getting sucked off that bad uh or, or that good that when she got done nigga you left your draws in her car yes this nigga left his draws his wallet his license his, his social security card nigga left everything which crazy as shit and let me tell you even the, the the even more crazy part about it a lot of these guys she actually put on video of her sucking them off she'll put like a uh what do they call it like a bandana around their face and suck them off like she was sucking off this one guy who he looked like he was probably about 17 years old he said he was 19 but i i, I said honey you need to check this nigga um you need to check his driver's license or something because i mean hey it's a, it's a lot of folks who uh, probably got it out for you to to try to do harm to you and i'm talking about that later on but um she's outing a lot of these guys and people are saying you know she's wrong for doing this shit my thing is this if a dude is messing with you on a dl um and they're doing these things with you in confidence you're wrong for outing them and all this stuff and there's a lot of different controversy behind that because some people are saying she is doing women a favor by outing a lot of these down low men now what i will say about this is it, it, it's very dangerous what she's doing because she's already said that um some guys shot up her house because she outed a lot of um thug boys or whatever and they already came and shot up her house they, they shot somebody in her house they didn't die or anything but she they shot them and you know she is i mean back to back to back to back to back outing a lot of these men and it's it's really really scary some of these guys who she's outing because it's a it's a small town that she lives in and a lot of the people that live there know each other so you have a lot of people that are following her who really are following her because um they really want to know if their dude is on a down low and she has actually um said that a lot of people that are following her she's went to their pages and seeing pictures of them and their boyfriends. She said a lot of the boyfriends that are on these pictures are people that she has had sex with. And let me tell you how they said they meet her. They said they watch her videos on Facebook. 
and they see how she get down, whether her they like her the way she perform her oral or whatever. Like I said, this is gonna be a dope conversation again. Whether they like the way she do her thing orally or whatever, and they contact her via instant message on Facebook, and she meets up with these people and she has um sex with them. That's what she does, okay? And she said she doesn't expose everyone. She said there's tons of people who are on a lot of these females' pages saying they're in a relationship with them who she refuses to out because they haven't given her a reason to out them. But she said she's had sex with hundreds of men who claim to be straight um, but are having sex orally and, ba and anally with her, which is, you know... um kind of scary you know the fact that your man can be having sex with you and having sex with you know a man at the same time and i'm not saying like, like oh you know somebody's gay so ooh, that's so horrible and disgusting that is not what i'm saying let me reiterate that that is not what i am saying what i am saying is you have people who are having sex with women and having sex with men who refuse to accept the fact that they're bisexual, whether they're, you know, fully gay or whatever. Um, but you, you, you double dipping. Okay. And you not basically telling your partner, okay, you know, I have feelings for men or I like men or I like having sex with men. Um, you know, secretly kind of like what's that? Um, Radio show host's name, I forgot, I think it was in New York. I cannot think of his name um, at, this, at this particular point in time. It's not coming to me. But him who was constantly caught um, with transgendered prostitutes. And he eventually came on and said, yes, I like getting fellatio from men who dress like women. Those are his words, not mine. And he constantly said that he is not gay. He said he is not gay, he's not bisexual, but he likes getting fellatio, his words not mine, from women who dress like men. And the fact that people think that it's okay for them to have sex with men and have sex with women, women without telling the woman or telling the men that they're having sex with some of the other ones. Cause you can have a lot of gay men. I have a lot of gay friends who well, not gay friends, but gay people that I talk to who will totally, if you are on the down low, they will not, they don't want nothing to do with you. Okay. They don't want absolutely nothing to do with you because they feel like if I'm out, I feel like it's only fair that you're out as well. Okay. Which I think is a hundred percent accurate. If I am brave enough to come out and, and, and let it, let the world know that I'm gay and all this type of stuff. And you feel like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to stay in the closet. I'm going to play the field like I like women. But I'm secretly having sex with you on the download. But I'm going to have Keisha over here as my girlfriend to kind of, you know, uh, 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 make people think that I'm straight. I even went to school with a couple of people who I knew were gay. Okay. Who I knew that they were gay when we were in school. But they had boyfriends and they had girlfriends to try to make people think that they're straight. I mean, but you can sit there. You can sometimes you can look at a person and tell if a person is gay or not. Okay, and that's no shade. And now these people are 100% out. This one guy, and like I said, I'm not going to call any names, but this one guy that I went to high school with who is still pretending like he is a straight man. He's still pretending like he's a straight man, okay? But um, I, I'm not going to tell no lie. I have a fake account on BGC, BGC Live Black Gay Chat. I do. I have a fake account on BGC Simply because sometimes you just, I mean, I don't go on there now, but when I was on the dating scene, I used to go on there all the time. You know what I'm saying? Especially in my little town here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, I used to go on there because I want to see, because there's a lot of profiles on BGC. You got a lot of people that are on BGC and they think that, oh, okay, ain't no woman going to get on here and be checking on no, on no gay chat, on no gay uh, 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 dating site a lot. Thick Chick Blogs was on BGC with her fake account. I didn't have no picture, which is probably the reason why a lot of people, because on um, Black Gay Chat, they have to wear a lot of those pictures are private. I'm pretty sure those are probably nude photos. But yeah, it was a lot of people that were on BGC that I knew in my surrounding area who were pretending to be straight. Not people that I, I dated or anything, but people that I knew that I worked with that were on Black Gay Chat. Okay, I even saw a guy, like I said, that I graduated with who is still pretending to be straight, who has a wife, who has a profile on black gay chat. Okay, but he is he's on black gay chat talking about he's bisexual. Now, whether or not, like I said, I haven't had a conversation with his wife, so I don't know whether or not he told his woman that he's on the download, whatever. Okay, 
don't know but or he like men or whatever i'm not really sure okay but he has two two children but he has a profile on black gay chat that's saying that he is a bisexual man and says that he's single okay he's single and he's ready to mingle pretty much and he has a couple of photos and he also has about i think about four or five that are private naturally it ain't my place to go to this woman and be like okay your husband on black gay chat it's not my place okay it's not my place. Because sometimes you get people, if you go to people and you try to, you know, give them a little bit of information and tell them, okay, I saw your man with this dude or whatever, you know, um, you might need to look into that. Sometimes they get pissed off at you. So I keep shit like that to myself, okay? I'm, I ain't saying I'm just saying that. Naturally, if it's somebody like my sister or, you know, a media family member, yes, but it's just a random, random person that I know, I'm not going to go to her inbox and be like, look, you might need to check on your dude. You know, I think he's, you know, bisexual in the closet or whatever, okay? Because I don't know what he done told her in the conference at their own home. She, she might know that he get down like that. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I probably just, um, um, on the, you know, uh, the back end of the thing where I don't know that he's bisexual, but she, she probably know. You feel me? But, um, basically this video is to say that I want a lot of women to open their eyes, okay? Open your eyes to a lot of situations because from my understanding, a lot of these men give you signs that they're, you know, secretly on the deal. Especially if you got a man who, look, now if this ain't some nasty shit, I don't know what it is. You got, I had a girl who told me her dude like his, get his dude whole leak. I wish a Negro would cock their motherfucking legs up talking about lick my ass. Nigga, I'm finna stab the shit out of you. Numero uno. If you cock your damn legs up like a bitch talking about lick my goddamn ass. Are you fucking for real? What the fuck I look like? Okay? Some tissue paper? Okay? My tongue is not no goddamn tissue paper. That is some nasty ass shit for a nigga to cock his damn legs up in the ass time I lick his goddamn dude. That is some, uh, freaky, that, that, I'm not gonna say freaky. That is some weird ass shit for a straight man to do. I ain't saying, I'm just saying, some people might have a little difference of opinions because they feel like it's freaky. No, that ain't freaky. That That is some 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 suspect ass shit for a straight man to want his goddamn dude to hold lick or want some shit in his dude. Okay, for a straight man. Now, if you got a man, you try to go near his goddamn ass, he not goddamn about to be knocking your ass out. Okay, that's a little more like it. Okay, but if you got a dude who always constantly wants you near his rectum, Something ain't right in the goddamn water. Now, I want to reiterate on this video because I ain't got but a couple more minutes. I want to let everybody know this is not bashing gay people or anything. Have plenty of gay friends. Love gay people. Okay? I'm all for equal rights for gay people, straight people, everybody. But what I have a problem with is men who love men, but they secret, they want to do it on uh, 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 the deal. They don't want anybody to know, but they still want to date women to make people think um, make people think that they're straight, but they're secretly gay. They secretly like having sex with men. And I don't think it's fair to gay people or a person who this person is fooling around with on the DL or whatever to have to deal with the fact that this person wants to basically use you for your sex and all this type of shit or, or whatever they want to use you for, but they can't be seen in public with you. Um, only time that I can see you is shit on either in your house or my house at night. You know, you, you got to come through the back door. Don't bring your ass through the front. Front. I think that's a fucked up ass situation. So, um, I, what I want to know in the comment section below, I want you guys to leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know, um, do you think that this person that I was referring to that is, are exposing these download men, do you think she is wrong for putting these men on blast or do you think that these men need to be put on blast because it's not fair to gay men that these people decide that they want to have uh sex with these folks on the down low and go back to their wives and land in bed with their wives do you think it's a good thing that she is exposing these men or do you think that it's a bad thing and it's dangerous and if she doesn't want to fool around with down low men maybe she shouldn't have sex with the down low man unless they're out you kind of get what i'm saying i hope that you get what i'm saying let me know in the comment section below um what you think about the situation down low men and all this good shit but i just want you guys to keep your eyes open be aware because they are out there and there are a ton of them if you are suspecting your man of being down low i i, I encourage you to go on black gay chat i promise you most men who are on the down low are on black gay chat I ain't saying, I'm just saying, like I said, there were a couple people that I worked with who were pretending to be straight who are on Black Gay Chat. Just saying. Be well, ladies. Leave comments in the comment section below. Share this video as well. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.